Today we will study Ranchian bound technique and matrix reduction. So first we will see what is Ranchian bound method and how it is different from backtracking method. Second thing that we will see is row minimization and column minimization technique and followed by full reduction of matrix. So let us start our lecture with Ranchian bound method. Branching bound method generates state space free just like our backtracking method. But the generation of tree here is in BFS manner or breadth post manner. In backtracking, the tree was generated in a depth first manner. That means for a given node, we have to generate first its child and from that child we are going to generate possible child. From that child also, we need to generate some child which can lead to our solution. But here in branch and bound, for a given node, all possible children will be first generated and then decision will be taken from which node we are going to generate or expand our tree in a next level. So this is how branch and bound method is different from backtracking method. So, so here in branch and bound method, children of particular E node. E node is a node whose children are currently being generated. So here in branch and bound method, for a particular E node, for each and every children are generated before it becomes dead end. That means if the possible children are not yet generated, we cannot select another node and start generating its new node's children. So children of a particular E node are generated before any other node becomes E node. Or I would say the children of particular node that is E node are generated until it becomes dead node. So here also in branch and bound method we make use of bounding condition or bounding function. It is a function or a condition which prevents unnecessary generation of subtree. So in branch and bound method also we are going to dead end some nodes so that it won't generate unnecessary solution to a problem. Let us see what is the row minimization technique. So for row minimization, we must have a matrix as an input. The very first step for row minimization is that you have to find out minimum value from each row of matrix and subtract that minimum value from that particular row in each every element. So whatever the resultant matrix is obtained is called as row reduced matrix and all the minimized value that we have called found out from each and every row will be called as the sum of those values will be called as row reduction cost. Say for example, a 4 by 4 matrix is given over here. From first row, elements are infinity, 20, 30 and 11. So out of these four values, minimum value will be taken out as 11. From second row, elements are 15, infinity, 4 and 2. So minimum value will come out it as 2. From third row, where elements are 19, 6, infinity and 18, minimum value will be 6. And from last row, where all elements are infinity, we are not able to find minimum value. So we are going to ignore a row where all values are infinity. So this way I have found out minimum value, that is my first step. Now whatever the minimum value in each row we have found out, we will take its subtraction or we will minus this value from every element of that particular row. So the new row will be generated as 
infinity minus 11 that is is equal to infinity 20 minus 11 that is is equal to 9 30 minus 11 that is is equal to 90 and 11 minus 11 that is is equal to 0 from second row we are going to have we are going to subtract value that is minimum for that particular row that is value 2 so second row will be generated as 15 minus 2 that is is equal to 30 infinity minus 2 that is is equal to infinity 4 minus 2 that is is equal to 2 and 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 Similar way, third value, third row is generated as 19 minus 6 is equal to 30, 6 minus 6 is equal to 0, infinity minus any value is equal to infinity, and finally 18 minus 6 is equal to 12. So the obtained resultant matrix is called as row reduced matrix. And we have to also some of the values that are cal calculated or that are found out as minimum. So here the row reduced cost is the sum of all the minimum row values that is, is equal to 11 plus 2 plus 6 that is, is equal to 19. So for a given matrix the resultant matrix is row reduced matrix and reduction cost is 19. Similar way, we have to perform column minimization also. So here, in column minimization, input is row reduced matrix. So column minimization is performed after performing row minimization. So whatever the resultant matrix we have obtained after row minimization will be taken as an input to column minimization process. Here also we have to find out minimum value but from each column of matrix and we will subtract this minimum value from element of particular column. So the resultant matrix that is obtained is fully reduced matrix and the sum of all minimum values of that particular column is called as column reduction cost. Say for example, this is given row reduced matrix where column 1 element are infinity, 30, 30 and infinity. So minimum value out of these will be 30. Second column is 9, infinity, 0 and infinity. So out of all these value, 0 is minimum value. If I am going to subtract this value from every element, we will get no effect in a result. So basically we are going to ignore those columns or rows which contains minimum element as 0. From third column minimum value is 2 and fourth column contains again value 0. So we are going to ignore that value. Now whatever the minimum value we have got we have to subtract that value from every element of the column respectively. So the fully reduced matrix column 1 is obtained as infinity. I am reading elements column by column. So elements from column 1 are infinity, 0, 0 and infinity. Second column will be as it is. Third column will be 17, 0, infinity and infinity. And last column will be also as it is. The resultant matrix is called as fully reduced matrix. Now we will sum up the values of minimum cost that is called as column reduction cost which is the sum of minimum values of each column. So here the column reduction cost is equal to 15. Now what is full reduction? Full reduction is called as or which is obtained after performing row minimization followed by column minimization and the resultant matrix that we obtain is fully reduced matrix. What is total reduction cost of fully reduced matrix? Fully reduced matrix total reduction cost is equal to sum of row reduction cost plus 
column reduction cost. That is, say for example, this is my input matrix whose fully reduced matrix is this one. So column reduction cost is 15 and row reduction cost is 19. So the total reduction cost is equal to 34. For fully reduced matrix, please make a note that we always have to perform real minimization first and then we will perform column minimization. That is, the order of performing minimization process does matter. Now for your practice, one 5 by 5 matrix is given. Your task here is to find out fully reduced matrix and its total reduction cost for a given example. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Monira Topia signing out. Thank you.